Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nirmal here. And in this video, we'll be talking about a new Chromebook from Asus, the Asus Chromebook CX1101. So a few months back, Asus launched a Chromebook uh, with a touch screen uh, for just the 17 triple nine. It was a really good device and we had reviewed it on our channel. Now Asus is launching another Chromebook again. Uh, this is a pretty good uh, offering uh, for the price segment. So we'll be analyzing uh, how good it is, uh, what are the performance aspects, uh, features it offers and everything we'll be doing in this video. So before getting started, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. Ever since the pandemic has started, uh, the demand for laptops has been increasing. We all do work from home, study from home. A lot of things are done uh, via uh, online. And as a result, uh, the demand for laptops has increased. But at the same time, not everyone can get an expensive laptop which has great performance. But if you look at the budget segment or the sub 30k or 25k price segment, most of the available Windows laptops do not give you great performance. They lag after a, a while because they have the normal hard disk drive and the performance is a big issue with the heavy windows os and this is where the chromebooks comes uh, handy because chromebooks are based on the chrome os which is a lightweight os and uh, the advantage with uh, the chromebook is that you get the play store from where you can install tons of apps so in this video we'll be looking at the asus chromebook cx1101 so this is a 11.6 inches uh, chromebook which features a uh, Intel Celeron dual core processor, 4 gigabyte RAM, 64 gigabyte storage. You can expand it and good set of ports, 11.6 uh, inches HD display, and there are other features as well. So we'll be analyzing all those aspects in this video. So first, let's have a look at the design and build quality. Now, if you look at the design, you can see it's completely finished in uh, silver. It's a plastic material, and you can see that the Asus branding, the Chromebook branding as well, and it's around a 19.5 mm thickness and 1.24 kilograms in weight so it's uh, definitely one of the lightest uh, budget laptops available and you can see that the hinges are also made pretty well it's a very strong build and uh, you can see that the display has the uh, bezels uh, it's pretty large considering that this is a budget segment it's not a major concern and you get the full-fledged keyboard the trackpad experience the hinges are very strong and uh, here also you can see here dual speakers on offer the plastic material so overall it's a very sturdy laptop and the design is quite okay you can also see the asus branding as well and one of the good things about this laptop it, has, it is certified for the us military grade uh, certification uh, which is a kind of durability aspect as well and uh, the reliability of the laptop is also pretty good that's one of the good things because uh, when we give a laptop for kids there are chances of uh, uh, water spill happening so this is also a spill resistant keyboard and uh, the overall hinge everything mechanism looks really sturdy so build quality is one of the good aspects about this laptop and the us military grade uh, certification adds to the durability aspect of the laptop so that's the design and build quality so overall uh, considering that this is a budget laptop we feel this is definitely good in terms of design and build quality now moving on to the display now you get 11.6 uh, inches uh, uh, HD uh, resolution display it's an uh, LED backlit uh, display and you also get uh, anti glare protection and 220 nits of brightness now the brightness is in something which is really great but considering again the budget segment we feel is quite okay but the display quality is kind of average i would say uh, because uh, if you tilt the display you can see that uh, the viewing angles are not that great in fact you can actually tilt the display by 180 degrees so this is one of the convenient aspect about this de device uh, it can be uh, made uh, 180 degree or flat angle so when you tilt the display you can see that the viewing angles are not that great you can see that uh, the colors become a bit too dull so display wise it we feel it's kind of average experience uh, but then again uh, this is not a uh, really high-end laptop considering the price segment we feel it's quite okay quite acceptable rather so that's the display quality again brightness levels are adequate the colors are not really vibrant or punchy in nature but it is kind of ac acceptable but uh, the viewing angles are kind of average i would say uh, especially when you tilt the display the viewing angles uh, are not that great so that's the display quality of uh, this uh, laptop and when we mentioned about the uh, the hinge you can see that it's very strong hinge even when you go with the 180 degree uh, tilt uh, the hinge is very strong and it act actually adds to the sturdiness of the laptop so that's the uh, display quality. Now talking about the software. Now this comes with the, the Chrome OS. It's a lightweight OS actually. And uh, you can actually see that it has uh, the Play Store uh, um, installed. So let's have a look at what uh, the Chromebook offers or rather the Chrome OS offers in terms of features. So this is the home screen of the Chrome OS. So you can see here, uh, if you click here, you can see the search option, the settings, 
and some uh, tools are also there if you just click here you get uh, all the pre-installed apps you can install apps so these are the pre-installed apps here and uh, if you go to the settings so we'll just take the settings uh, and then we'll show you how it looks so this is the settings uh, quite similar to how uh, the uh, settings looks on uh, an android smartphone you can see here personalization you can go with uh, uh, the wallpaper change uh, additional options are also included then uh, you get uh, uh, the uh, the options uh, generally you see on uh, uh, the android devices you can add your accounts uh, you can see the apps uh, which are installed you can even go to the play store this is the play store again very similar to uh, what you see on the android smartphones you can install all the apps uh, here so apps uh, games uh, movies uh, books all are there so you can install uh, these apps and work on the um, the chromebook now here you can also see that um, uh, the toggles are there uh, the Bluetooth toggle, then shutdown, lock, uh, additional toggles are also included. You can uh, see some uh, media controls are also there. Then you can also uh, link your phone, turn on phone hub. So connect your phones, hotspot, silence, locate uh, devices and, re and view recent Chrome tabs on your phone. So you can actually connect uh, this to your phone. So everything is uh, based on uh, the Chrome. You can see that Gmail, uh, Docs and YouTube are the apps which are pre-installed. So it's actually a Chrome browser. So this is how uh, it works. And and uh, uh, you can also see that uh, the settings panel uh, offers all the additional options advanced tools are also included you can see that uh, files developer options about chrome os so uh, this is the version 91.0.4 which is included here you also get updates directly from google so that's the highlight of the uh, chromebook uh, and uh, you can uh, uh, do a bit of customization similar to your android smartphone but again this is not a smartphone kind of os it's purely based on the chrome os so that's how the Chrome OS looks like. Now talking about the performance. So this is powered by the Intel Dual Core uh, Celeron processor N42420 processor and you get 4 gigabyte uh, DDR4 RAM and uh, you get 64 gigabyte uh, eMMC 5.1 storage so this is not a UFS storage it's an eMMC storage so the performance might not be stellar or epic uh, in terms of uh, giving you the best experience but uh, for the budget segment or for students or entry level laptops this is kind of decent experience and the dual core processor uh, does a decent job here in terms of overall experience. Uh, there is hardly any lag we found here uh, even when you navigate through the apps and uh, the settings there is hardly any uh, lag but we would have liked the touch screen uh, like the previous one because touch screen helps much, much better experience on a Chromebook on a, rather than a Windows laptop so touch would have been made the experience a bit more better but overall uh, we feel uh, the software exp or rather the performance is quite good. You can also expand the storage via uh, the SD card slot available but uh, you get uh, around uh, say 45 uh, gigabyte storage by default uh, rest all is taken up by the OA so that's the performance side now you also get Wi-Fi 5 support and Bluetooth support is also there there's dual band support so uh, that's uh, the performance side so overall we feel it's kind of okay -ish performance you may not get a heavy performance for say for gamers or uh, uh, entry level gamers or heavy task but it's kind of a laptop more uh, suited for students now talking about the keyboard experience you can see the keyboard is pretty good it's a spill resistant keyboard and it works pretty good the key travel is again uh, really good so overall we feel uh, the uh, the experience uh, with the keyboard is definitely good and uh, the uh, the key uh, feedback is good the touchpad is again uh, something which is good uh, considering the price segment we don't see any sort of issues with the trackpad uh, but there is no backlight included again considering the budget segment you can't expect that here now you also get uh, two speakers here you can see here speakers are quite okay and uh, you also get two microphones for video calls so it's pretty good in terms of experience uh, there is an HD cam here it's kind of average quality but again uh, just for video calls it does work uh, considering a budget uh, laptop. Now in terms of ports and connectivity it's fairly well equipped in terms of ports and connectivity so on the left side you get uh, one USB uh, type C 3.2 gen 1 port uh, it supports uh, power delivery charging as well as uh, display port is supported data transfer is also supported which is good then uh, you get um, one uh, sd card slot 3.5 mm audio jack usb type a 3.2 gen 1 port and uh, on the right side you get another usb type c port again 3.2 gen 1 port and uh, another usb type a 3.2 gen 1 port again so it's fairly well equipped in terms of ports and connectivity there are plenty of ports and display port power delivery charging is supported usb type c charging and uh, data transfer is avail available so that's one of the good things uh, you don't have to depend upon um, the usb type a port so that's the ports and connectivity now next uh, is uh, the 
uh, battery so it comes with a 42 uh, watt hour battery it's a three cell 42 watt hour battery and company claims around 13 hours of uh, uh, entertainment with this laptop uh, but uh, you may not get that much but uh, still uh, this is definitely good in terms of performance again it depends upon person to person on what kind of task you're doing uh, but on average you can get close to say eight to nine hours that's what we feel again depends upon person to person but uh, it's kind of good uh, in terms of battery performance so that was the battery life of the uh, asus uh, chromebook uh, cx1101 so summing up let's have a look at the pros and cons the pros include uh, it's a very good sturdy build uh, the us military grade certifications helps in the reliability and the durability aspect uh, the design and uh, overall build quality is definitely good chrome os offers a plethora of options and uh, the app support is again pretty good the keyboard experience is good uh, the performance is kind of okay and battery life is also again good and the pricing is again really good now the cons of the laptop probably the display could have been better uh, a touch laptop could have done uh, better especially considering that it's a chromebook otherwise it's kind of okay experience i would say uh, that's the pros and cons of the uh, asus chromebook cx1 so priced at 18 triple nine with an mrp of 19 triple nine this is one of the best uh, budget entry level laptops you can pick for students and beginners to get the job done and it works really well and one of the best laptops below the 20,000 price segment right now in india that is the detailed uh, aspects about the asus chromebook cx01 i hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the rest subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day